Welcome to Ripple Tank Simulator task number one. Before we begin, let's get a couple big ideas under our belt. Waves travel through a medium. A medium is matter that can transfer energy from one place to another through waves. Waves can send energy through many different mediums, like water, slinkies, many solids, and air. Before we can diagram our waves, we need to know a couple of terms. The incident wave direction is the direction of the initial wave. The incident wave fronts are the fronts or crests of the wave. These can either be plane or curved. The incident wave fronts are perpendicular to the incident wave direction. This is true whether the wave is plane or curved. If this incident wave reflects off a barrier, it'll create a reflected wave, which has a reflected wave direction and reflected wave fronts. The relationship between reflected wave fronts and reflected wave directions is the same as incident wave fronts and incident wave direction. They're 90 degrees or perpendicular to each other. That's the same whether it's a plane wave front or a curved wave front. This plane wave is moving at a constant velocity and frequency. Draw the shape of the wave fronts. The wave direction always moves perpendicular to the wave fronts. This is an incident wave. So these are incident wave fronts and the incident wave direction. This circular wave is moving at a constant velocity and frequency, similar to the ripples in a pond. Draw the shape of the wave fronts. The wave direction always moves perpendicular to the wave front. This is an incident wave. So these are incident wave fronts and the incident wave direction.